Welcome to the horror, that is uh, the old uh, distribution central in this house. Uh, more, more horror than usual because I just finished rebuilding it to have a separate uh, protective earth and neutral rail. So this old stuff, safe to touch, uh, that's not safe to touch. Uh, this old stuff is new, uh, the old one should be over there. So, previously, I oh got is falling apart. Uh, previously, all of these uh, grinds and uh, neutrals uh, went to a single uh, common rail here, where they turned into one uh, for uh, potential equalization. So, if we had any leakage uh, from grind uh, uh, to grind in any of our outlets, it would uh, couple to neutral here and go out to the grid. Uh, but since I've had to change my plans about this stuff a bit uh, due to my heat pump very not getting along with the grain fault interrupter, uh, I have to split this up. So right now we are actually uh, uh, coupled across so our grains here are hooked straight to grid neutral there and it's basically the same setup as before. This is just one big giant uh, rail but this is going to get split up quite soon perhaps today, if I'm feeling ballsy. So what's happened uh, down here is I've had to rearrange a bunch of stuff. I've got a, a power hooked up for testing of inverters running off a grid now and uh, the heat pump and everything. It, it's just hooked up as a big, big old UPS and everything's working fine. Uh, but uh, due to the uh, heat pump uh, being a big fat inverter, uh, it, it just puts a shit ton of noise into ground, in fact several hundred milliamps and that's making this 30 milliamp GFD very unhappy. So I've had to uh, redo it so that the feed down to the basement is actually uh, bef coming from before uh, the GFI uh, and the GFI is just going to be between uh, outgoing from the inverter and uh, this. Uh, so the that's just been a bunch of changes, so you can see if you were paying attention the free phase outlet was going straight to the output of the switchover uh, switch there, it's no longer doing that, it's going underneath it and to the output of a GFI, this is the free phase outlet right there, let's, let's not poke around too much, all that stuff is actually hot and could kill me. Uh, so... With that in mind, uh, we, we've kind of moved a bit closer to being able to hook this up because uh, really all we need to do to have the system entirely online is to get these fat wires. You can see a fat brown one down there, a fat black one up there and a final fat black one hiding in the shadows there. These are the incoming main supply from the meter. If we hook those to where this bodge cable is uh, coming and then the GFI to the big rails that all the fuses go to, uh, that's it. That's the entire system wired up, only thing lacking being solar panels. And I'm really tempted to do that uh, because then I can just uh, remove this jumper and actually have GFI protection uh, on the entire house, which is nice. I uh, have uh, actually measured the current flow here. It's about 10 milliamps uh, with all the stuff in the house leaking all at once. So it might make the GFI a bit unhappy. It should not, but these can sometimes be a bit oversensitive. And if it's oversensitive due to nuisance uh, tripping, i.e. noise, uh, that, that, that's a bit of a cheat you can do. We're just uh, I put a small capacitor between the neutral rail and uh, the grind. If that's going to couple over high frequency noise, uh, but if you get any actual 50 hertz uh, grind fault, like if you stick your finger in there, which you really shouldn't do, uh, it'll still trip the GFI because that's so low frequency that it's uh, uh, still going to pass current. Uh, that's not going to go through the capacitor there. So that's something we might do if necessary. But really, I'm, 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 I think I want to just switch this off, take these guys out and wire this up. All it takes is a 
few terminal blocks and some wiring and uh, we're going to have the entire house hooked on a big UPS and uh, we're going to see how many things can go wrong in doing that. Alright, and that's all the proper wiring done. <sighs> I've been doing this for so long, all my UPS has stuff for big ones run out of battery so I mean, we don't even have internet access right now, it's crazy. Uh, but let's uh, have a look at uh, what's happened here. So in the old central, uh, these wires used to go straight to the live rails where they the incoming uh, power coming straight from the meter. The way this is uh, set up is uh, you have live from the grid coming into these uh, fuse holders, so the, the one half of these is actually hot right now, if I poke my finger in there I die, then it goes to a switch, then it goes to a meter, then it goes to my stuff. Uh, so what's used to go straight to the rails, now it goes through this terminal block, sadly there's no easy way for me to get into this meter because power, power company doesn't want you to go in there and I don't fancy having them here to do this for me, so we're just working on the stuff we're allowed to. Uh, so this go into this uh, 5 by 6 uh, cable which uh, runs along here, it's labelled and comes out on the grid side here and uh, we have a pair of wires coming in here, we have the grid coming from the, the central up above and we have inverter input which goes straight downstairs uh, to the input of the inverter through the uh, separator switch. So. As soon as we energize uh, the, the main uh, stuff here, we're going to have power all the way down to the basement now. Uh, so, a normal operation, uh, uh, when we're running on, on the inverter, uh, we have the inverter incoming here. So this is uh, the output of the inverter, which is uh, energized uh, whether or not there's a power outage. And that goes to the common down downside, uh, lower side of the switch, into the ground fault interrupter, which then uh, goes out again with a couple of wires. We have the right one there, yeah, it goes to the uh, central up above, and the left one goes to the free face uh, uh, power outlet. I don't want to have this on my ground fault interrupter, but uh, I'm not allowed to not have it, like a but you can't get away with having an outlet for general purpose use that's not on a ground fault interrupter these days so sadly this has to go through the ground fault interrupter oh well uh, but yeah uh, the other lead coming out of a ground fault interrupter goes let's see through this cable up back in and that comes out there and that then goes straight to live 3, live 2 and live 1 and that of course distributes out to the rest of the house. Uh, now of course we also have a neutral and a ground coming and they go to this uh, distribution block, the new one I've fitted, where we have our separate uh, neutral and our separate ground. Now we actually have uh, quite a bit of grounded because uh, the grid only has four conductors coming in so I've just par paralleled up the ground for the two uh, five conductor wires coming in so we have one ground which is uh, this cable and another ground which is this so we actually have 12 square millimeters of ground coming to here which is good it uh, certainly does no harm uh, even though it's kind of ugly to have to uh, kind of separate purpose cables and you have a grind just kind of doing the same thing but I will. The, the other option would be to just not use the grind for the grid side cable but yeah that seems a bit silly since we can get more grind I'd also have to run like another grind to really get the tight a tight uh, can, can continue to we need. Uh, I've also added a potential equalization jumper here so this is where the neutral from the grid comes in and that turns into ground. So this is a point where neutral and ground are the same thing. And this is of course on the dangerous side of the ground fault interrupter. And uh, 
since we're neutral for everything, you can see comes through that jumper. Uh, we have ground fault interruption on, well, this entire thing, which is uh, good safety wise, not good uh, uptime wise. It's going to probably cause some nuisance tripping until I figure out all the kinks in the system. But really, we are ready to give this a go. We need to head downstairs and see what all the switches and things are set to there. Uh, and I think we'll just uh, jump straight into a normal inverter mode. Uh, now keep in mind, uh, since I don't have any solar panels yet, uh, this is what I've done now is basically just uh, uh, put a 10 kilowatt UPS on my entire house uh, if I've done everything correctly, which I'm quite certain I have. So uh, we'll prepare here by putting this on inverter and uh, we'll, we won't turn the GFI on yet. I don't, uh, I want to be here when the pack is on. So step one, uh, the dark, dark, dead house is going to be turning on uh, the inverter. Uh, so we have a bit of a funny business going on with this UPS. It has a, quite a bit of ground leakage, about 18 million, so that can't be in the GFI. I'm probably going to get rid of it or try and fix it. But this actually has a, a ugly, illegal ground jumper upstairs, which I'm probably going to have to remove because I suspect we're going to have too much ground leakage right now when I turn it on. Uh, so we'll flick this one uh, to inverter as well. We'll Turn the inverter main power on, heat pump is on, uh, barn is on, outlets on, the heat pump is enabled. That is hooked up without a ground fault interrupter, like this is the UPS's power cable. If uh, that's going to be a separate uh, ground fault interrupter down in this room, I just haven't fitted that yet. But yeah, that's. Oh, yeah, we need to turn the inverter on, that's right. So this is actually going to energize everything right away since we're set to inverter mode so in a moment we're going to be trying to power this entire house from this inverter there we go so we are now powering we should be powering the entire house of the inverter. Uh, we should have lights. We don't have lights. Why don't we have lights? What's gone on fire? Oh yeah, I haven't turned the uh, GFI on yet. So this is going to be the big interesting part. Is the GFI going to play along? Here we go. This is the big one. Ha <laughs> ha! The ground vault interrupter didn't trip, I can't believe it! <laughs> oh, that's amazing! I was uh, completely sure, completely sure, that this was just going to go click and uh, refuse to run because there would be too much shit in the house, too much industrial stuff hooked up to allow me to run it, but clearly it works. Let's try it. It even works. Oh, that's beautiful. That's amazing. The entire house is now running off the inverter. Get rid of you. Like, the main power is off. The power meter is not even turned on. But we have power. I can undo these all day long. And we still have power. Just add a few solar panels and we'll be off grid properly. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So let's uh, head back downstairs and see what, like, you know, normal living. There's a bunch of batteries charging. That fridge started up just fine. This fridge actually has a PTC start. It's very hard to start. So, yeah, I was kind of expecting the inverter to not be having it, but doesn't mind at all. Beautiful. 
My lights are working. Not that they do much, they're pretty. What's our load? Probably quite a lot. I know. 26%. We're putting at about 900 watts right now. That's not even too bad, although I suspect this thing is going to start up quite soon since it's been off all day. Yeah, that's not bad. Now, let's... Uh, there's still one thing left to do, and that's to turn the grid power on. All right. Let's just secure it in. Let's see what goes on fire. Nothing went on fire. Me to start it up. If I had shorted anything out, one of these would have gone bang right in our face. And in uh, 60 seconds, uh, the uh, inverter should uh, tick over and uh, hook everything straight to grid. It's acting like a line interactive UPS uh, in uh, the UPS mode, it seems. So we'll just keep an eye out for that. And there we went on to grid. And uh, something I was quite worried about was uh, if there would be a lot of uh, changeover noise, which would make this thing sad, but we made it. The lights are still on. Well, let's see what happens if we have a power outage. Blink. Ah, beautiful. I am a happy nerd right now. Just some cosmetic work left, but that's not for tonight.